What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I hope you like this video. Let's go ahead and try to get caught up on All Stars 7. RuPaul, Drag Race, All Stars, All Winter Season, baby. So this is episode 6. So listen, this episode, we start off, we have um, Jinx and Raja have that extra star that they can give out, right? And so Raja... Um, Jinx, I'm sorry, Jinx gives her star to Jada. Jada Essence Hall. And Raja gives her star to Evie. Now remember, Raja and Evie were the last two to get a star. And I feel like Raja gave Evie the star so that Evie wouldn't be the only one without a star at that point. And so I was here for it. That was cool. Jada, y'all know I love me some Jada. So I was definitely here for that. Although it was a little shady, um, Jinx, that you didn't give it to Trinity. Because Trinity did actually help you with your look. For that episode, but girl, I ain't mad at you. Like, do what you do, girl. Do what you do. Now, the Vivian is blocked. And, of course, the Vivian is in her feelings. But I'm like, girl, what did you expect? Like, you blocked Jinx and you were... I mean, not only did you block Jinx when you had the, the chance to block Jinx, you told her you would have blocked her again. So, like, I don't know what you thought was coming from the Vivian, but... I mean, well, from Jinx, but... So this episode was all about the TRL. It was a flashback to the 90s. It was the whole MTV. So they were in girl groups, right? The, 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 the maxi challenge was for them to get in these girl groups. They had to beat. They had to create their own song, do a performance, a la 1990s. So everything was supposed to have a 90s feel to it, a whole retro vibe, right? So what ended up happening was they sit down to listen to the different song. The first song was called Titanic. The second song was called Together Forever. And... It was almost as if they decided the groups. Raja was like, well, we just sort of felt like all the people who were sitting on this side should do Titanic and the people on that side do Together Forever. And Vivian took offense to it. The Vivian was like, but... How are you just going to choose for me? Like, you don't get to just make that decision. Like, he's... You know, she was like, I feel like this should have been a fair way of doing that. Like, how do you just say, oh, everybody on this side? Like, she said, what? So, Jinx was like, all right, well, let's do it this way then. We'll say everybody who wants to do Titanic sit on that couch. And everybody who wants to do Together Forever sit on this couch. And don't worry about how many people are in the group yet. Let's see who's interested in the song. And then we'll figure it out from there. Well, the Vivian never got her ass up. And I feel like... Ultimately, I feel like the Vivian probably liked the song Together Forever better. I think she just resented the fact that the assumption was made that she couldn't be in a group. I think it was principal for her, not so much that she really wanted to change groups, which I can understand that. But it did kind of look crazy because Jinx tried to come up with a solution and you would like to get it. That's okay. It's too many people over there already. Never mind. So the only people that actually ended up switching groups was Evie moved to the Together Forever group and... Trinity moved over to the Titanic group because Trinity originally wasn't in that group. So the groups ended up being Raja, Monet, Shea Coulee, and Trinity doing Titanic. And then Vivian, Jinx, Jada, and Evie Ali doing Together Forever. And so um, the Titanic group decided to call themselves Mr. They took the initials of their name and they, they created Mr., which I thought was really cute. Thought it was really cute. Um, and then um, the um, the Together Forever group, they called themselves the other girls. And the whole concept of their group was it was made up of girls who had gotten kicked out of their other girl groups. Like all of them had been kicked out of another group and they just decided to form like, like a super non-super group. So they called themselves the other girls. Mr. was like the quintessential 90s girl group, you know. Um... And the lyrics were really interesting. Their lyrics were very 90s, talking about, you know, um, 90s t stuff. Um, Trinity's, her lyrics were all about Justin Timberlake. Like, the whole Justin Timberlake phenomena of the 90s with NSYNC and all that good stuff. So, they were cute. Um, and, of course, they go to record the song, and, you know, it was cute. It was whatever. The other girls, again... Each one of them rapped, they did their song, their part about something ridiculous and different. So Jada talked about farting and going to the bathroom. The Jinx, um, I mean, uh, Jinx Monsoon was just all over the place. She just wanted to hit that note. Um, 
Evie Ali, she was a futuristic robot child. And um, the Vixen, I mean, the Vivian, she did her, I always want to call her the Vixen, y'all. The Vivian, um, hers was all about cliches um, about people who are from Great Britain. You know, all they eat is, you know, um, you know, they have tea time and they, all they eat is, you know, um, fish and chips or whatever and things like that. So, it was cute. Um, they, like I said, they went and recorded. Everything seemed to go pretty decent with the recording. Then it was time for them to work on their choreography. And both groups were shaded to the other group when it came down to the choreography. But y'all know how this goes. At the end, everybody's going to get it together. Well, for the most part, passable enough. Um, and then they're going to perform, right? Now, Trinity, I mean, yeah, Trinity and Raja have two left feet, child. Now, Monet and Shea kool we know we're going to turn it. We know they were going to give it to us. But the two of them, baby, you could see them looking. You could see them counting. You could see them trying to find their space. They were lost throughout their whole performance. But overall, it was a cute performance. It really was. Shea kool was good, but Shea kool is going to be good, right? She's definitely going to give you Shea kool Um, And Monet going to give you homegirl around the way, right? But honestly, I feel like the other girls, their performance was better because it was all. And what they said was they said the fact that our concept is we're the girls that got put out. It gives us a space to be ridiculous. We don't have to be perfect. We don't have to be precise because the whole concept is we couldn't cut it in our original group. So something clearly was off with us, whether it was perceived or, you know, real. And so it sort of gave them that window to just be all over the place, be extra, be silly, right? Um, and they were. They were absolutely silly. They were absolutely all over the place. Uh, Ross dressed up like Carson Daly. I remember from TRL. And he really looked like Carson Daly. And he saw, he had his he had his affect and everything down to it. It was really, really cute. Um, and overall, I thought the performances were decent. But again, I know, I know y'all are sick of me saying it. In a real season, um, there would have been some, I feel like there would have been some harsh critiques for Raja. There would have been some harsh critiques for um, Trinity. Um, from the other girls, again, because their performance was so chaotic and all over the place, you couldn't really tell who was screwing up because you couldn't really follow it that like that. Um, but ultimately, if I had to pick a weak link in their group, probably Jinx. If I had to pick one, I would probably say Jinx. Um... But overall, like I said, the the performances were decent. And the songs, I like the songs. Um, I feel like the, the judges probably liked... I think the judges liked Together Forever better, too. I feel like they were bopping more when they were performing. But, you know, that's just me. They're, so, um, Tovi Lou is the guest judge. I hope I said her name right. So the runway was Night of a Thousand Dollies. And I'm going to say this. Like, I think, unlike what they did with um, Vanna White, I think everybody tried to do it. Like, my criticism with Evie Ali with the Vanna White thing was, I feel like you you said you're doing your interpretation, but it still wasn't appropriate. I didn't think it was good. So the Night of a Thousand Dollies, um, I loved, loved, loved Monet's. She had this quilted blazer trench coat dress. It was gorgeous. It was absolutely gorgeous. I could definitely see Dolly Parton in it, but I could also just see it as a piece that you wear that you, that's just great. You know what I mean? Um, Trinity had, she did her Dolly thing. She had this yellow dress and it was glittery. And of course she had the hair and, and all that good stuff. And I wrote very Dolly, very, very Dolly. Shea kool was probably the least Dolly. No, it was probably still Evie Ali. But I could still see Dolly Parton in this outfit. It wasn't performance Dolly Parton. It was definitely showing up to do a book sign at Dolly Parton. It was leather pants with a leather blaze, you know, leather jacket. Um, but I could still see, it was still very much something I could see Dolly Parton wearing. It just wasn't performance Dolly. And that was cool. I like doing something different, giving me a different spin on it, right? Um, Raja... Straight Dolly Parton. I mean, she looked like she walked out of a Dolly Parton magazine. Straight up walked out. I mean, it was a white sequence dress, nail, red nails, hair, everything. She she definitely, if I had to pick somebody that was mo the most Dolly, it probably would have been Raja. 
Um, Vivian, once again, child, give me a blue dress, child. Vivian, listen, again, if this were a real season, baby, uh, Michelle Visage would have read the hell out of you about these damn blue dresses. But neither here nor there was pretty, and she looked very dolly as well. Jada gave us a yellow dress with some tassels. Um, again, I think everybody hit the mark with this one. Jinx, Jinx gave us 80s dolly. She gave us 9 to 5 dolly. I could see her in that, but it was more of a peasant dress. It wasn't as glittery and over the top. But I, but again, it was very 9 to 5 in that era. In that era. Evie Ali gave us leggings. It was it was Dolly Parton and Evie Ollie way, child. That's all I can say. But it wasn't to me, it wasn't as off brand as the, the, the Vanna White one. Um, no need to talk about the critiques because all the critiques are, are great. Everybody loves oh, everybody loves everybody. Everybody's great. Everybody looks good. Everybody did a great job. Blah 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 blah. Whatever. So the top um was Evie Ollie and the Vivian. So Evie went from having zero stars to two stars in one episode. Um, the song was um, Looking Like That by Dolly Parton. Um, the Vivian won and guess who she blocked? Jinx. So now I'm like, are we just gonna do this back and forth thing? Like, are the two of y'all just gonna block each other or y'all gonna be strategic? Because at this point, now we've created, they really, going into the next episode, have really created this very um adversarial type relationship right but anyway that was the episode let me know what y'all think i'll talk to y'all later peace